two, one. Hi, my name is Sarah Spore and I work at Sandfield Park School. My name's Martin Wilby, I work for Liverpool City Council as a supported employment officer. Hi everyone, my name's Holly from Growing Happy. My name is Jordan Connerty. I got involved with the project with thanks to Sarah Spore and Sandfield Park School. Hello, I'm Rue Pearce and I'm the founder and CEO of Growing Happy. Hi, I'm Harry and this is our film about the Home Not Alone project and how we need connected with communities with making cars through COVID-19. So we're going to write a message inside telling the person that we're writing to a little bit about what we've been up to, asking them what they've been up to. We've been working closely with Intern to Work, which is uh, the, the uh, Liverpool City Council supported internship programme and uh, obviously we've been working closely with Martin and uh, we heard about the project and we thought it would be a wonderful opportunity for our young people to get involved. The campaign has the hashtag and really gets everyone to get creative for the people in our community that are most vulnerable. We were setting up a way of keeping our supported interns and young people and job coaches um, all engaged during the very start of lockdown. So we were looking for different projects that we could work with. Before the project, I did not know what was going to happen in these strange times in the world that we are living in today. This project made me feel normal, made me feel back to myself because I just miss seeing everyone. I miss seeing people so much. We're going to be creating a card um, that you can send to um, somebody in a care home, somebody that's self-isolating and might be getting a little bit lonely. At the start of lockdown, we really wanted to work with individuals who might be having a challenging time through the lockdown experience, help some of the vulnerable individuals across our communities who are already lonely and already in difficult situations. So Martin thought it'd be fantastic to work with a group of supported interns in Liverpool and co-design a project that could actually support individuals potentially in care homes or shielding in society who were, were potentially lonely and vulnerable. I think the title, Home Not Alone, I think that, that, that gives a good indication of what it's about. Um, what we're looking to do is reach out to people who may be feeling a little bit unhappy or a little bit lonely um, and we're looking to try and connect communities. My message to the person that would be receiving the Home Not Alone card is that we are thinking about you and we've not forgotten even though the times may seem that people have, we haven't. I, I've really enjoyed doing this project because I know that I'm helping people through a difficult time. I just hope this project continues because it's given me great confidence and I've enjoyed it. It's lovely seeing all the pupils every week and meeting new friends. I appreciate it more than anything I've had all this time. And I've got it up on my mantelpiece and I can see it every day of my life. I've been involved in the project by uh, doing the drawing the cards and listening to others and seeing what we could come up with to help during this time. I learned how to edit the film for the card tutorials um, and I also had fun. It's increased our knowledge um, about the ways that we can connect with people differently, um, that we can still use creativity uh, to make things um, and obviously getting out uh, packs to people so everyone could be included in the project. It was important to me personally to keep my mental health healthy and to give me something to do during the lockdown period. This project helps us stay connected with them and for the, to those who unfortunately can't come out and making them feel not alone and just keep making them feel happy and motivated to keep going.
it's given us a real focus of you know uh, looking at how we can help each other during these difficult times how we can help and support others during these difficult times and um, and also to to check in to see how people are feeling so you know we are all there to support each other the feedback that we got from the uh, manager of the care home where the first batch of cards have been sent to was that uh, their residents were feeling really lonely and isolated and that this was a brilliant idea and a really lovely thing for our young people to have thought of doing. We've learned that you know it's easy to work together and connect to each other in our own cities and uh, obviously we all live in different places within that but it means that the world is much closer to us through technology and I think that um, you know this has proved that you know it's really good to connect to people that we do have lots of different things in common and the things that creativity and connections bring to people is friendship and, um, and support to each other. I wanted to say from a Growing Happy perspective, how important it has been for the supported interns from Sandfield Park School to really lead on this project. Three, two, one. Hello, not alone. When you walk through a storm. It's their ideas, it's their vision they've decided that they wanted to take this project to care homes across Liverpool but also other places in society, other schools that might have individuals who are shielding and suffering at the moment. To see their level of leadership and how much they've contributed to this project and um, has been amazing. Getting to work with individuals like Harry and Jordan and many others from Sandfield really seeing their skills and their talents, working with Harry closely on, on editing the films for the project has been amazing. Seeing the way Jordan presents and writes scripts and treats every project as a professional acting opportunity has been fantastic. Seeing the way they've adopted some of the growing happy principles around gratitude diaries and what it means to be grateful has been really important for us and seeing how they now want to take this forward and see what Home Not Alone can do um, in other councils and other cities across the UK. It means a huge amount to me and I'm really excited to see where this project goes and where the individuals from Sandfield Park want to take it next. Just before we finish, I'd like to ask you all just to do one thing. It's just go on Glow and Happy's website and look into how you can get involved because getting involved will build up our communities and will make us stronger together or working together we can be stronger and help people that are lonely and isolated.